iPhone XR after a little bit more than 30 days. Do I still like it? Hey there friends on YouTube, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL, this is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech, so honest it hurts. If this is your first time here, please come back again. And you can do that either by guessing when I might put up a video, or you could like this video, you could subscribe to the channel, you could hit that bell notification icon. If you have been here before, then you know how much I care for you. Thanks so much for an amazing 2018. It has been a ride. Now, the iPhone XR, let's just get straight to the business. Straight to the business. iPhone XR. Now, I bought first the iPhone XS. Okay, first I said I wasn't going to order the iPhone XS Max, and then I decided that I would get one to review, and I did. then I decided that I liked it a lot. And then the XR came out, and I used both for a bit of time, and I decided that I liked the XR... Um, better. I liked it over the 10s Max for its form factor, a little bit smaller, maybe a little bit wider. It fit in my hand better. And the fact that it, I just didn't miss the features that the 10s Max had over the 10 are like the OLED screen and the more camera and one more gig of RAM. And ultimately the price, we're talking a $450 difference. Now I've been carrying this phone for a little bit over a month and I thought I'd drop in, let you know if I'm still carrying it, if I'm still happy. Spoiler alert, I am, and I am. So, what about my thoughts and experiences with the 10R has changed? Um, nothing. Still love the form factor, still love the color, still love the price compared to Apple's other new models. Uh, yeah, the, the, this product red is just too sexy. Sorry. What hasn't changed? Um, I haven't had any issues with lag or any kind of funky performance stuff. It does everything that I needed to do really fast. And the battery life still goes for at least, at least a day and a half. I go, I got a wireless charger, the Logitech powered charger, and I've been using that to charge the phone. Usually I'll charge it up to 100% and then I'll just hang out and use it until probably a day and a half or so later. I need to drop it on that charger again. It charges up in about 30, 40 minutes and I am good to go. This is the first time that I have legitimately had a phone that will last me up to two full days on a charge. Usually it's more like one and a half, but still, that's incredible battery life. It all comes down to the LCD screen as opposed to the OLED and the slightly larger battery that's inside. So if you want battery life, if you want battery performance, the 10R has to be on your list. Now there are other phones, but that's the one I think should be close to the top, yeah? The phone has also been pretty durable. I've carried it mostly without a case, and I've dropped it a bunch, and there's just one scuff on a, a corner of the aluminum, but the glass somehow remains unscratched, which seemed impossible somehow with, with the 10s Max and 10s having stronger glass, but my 10s did scratch a little bit. Apple had said that they were gonna not use the super intense glass that they were using on those more expensive phones, but this phone has been a champ in the durability department. I have just <laughs> dropped it all over the place. I've got hardwood floors. We don't have very many carpets because we have dogs and it's a long story, but I've dropped it more times than I would like to have dropped it. Uh, and it has still been fine. Overall, the iPhone XR has continued to be just about everything that I would want in a phone, and there's never been a time when I felt like, hey, you know, I should, I should just max out and buy the most expensive phone because that's where I'm going to get the most performance. In this case, this year, while there are things different about the bigger, more expensive phones that are arguably better than the XR, this year, for some reason, the XR it's in the running, maybe top three of the phones of the year for me. I'm gonna be putting out a video next week or soon, soon, if not next week, before the end of the year, that's gonna tell you guys what my top three phones of the year are and why, so you'll have to stay tuned for that. If you're looking for an iPhone this year, I would recommend the XR over the other new phones, but unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the popular opinion. That doesn't seem to be the case, given how low the sales for the XR have been. 
I really think it's a fantastic phone, and you can get as much as 40% off a 10R right now with a trade-in of an iPhone 7 Plus at Apple's site. Not sure if that's a great deal, but the fact that Apple themselves are discounting the phones uh, may mean that there are better deals yet to come. Apple may have hit that place where people aren't willing to pay their prices, 40% premiums for the iPhone. Have you been using a 10R? Thinking about getting one? Avoiding it like the plague? Let me know down in the comments. I would really appreciate a boisterous conversation. If you're looking for gift ideas, check out my links down below. They are affiliate links. They do help out the channel. Everything that I use to create audio and videos down there, plus a bunch of other stuff. And, you know, there may be something for someone you love or a gift for yourself. Thanks so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Once again, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is a painfully honest tech. Tech. So honest it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.